Xialu is a small village that lies beside Yasha Mountain in Jiangmen City, Guangdong Province. The village is well known for its ancestral halls of the imperial Zhao family of the Song Dynasty. The most magnificent one of the dozen or so halls houses portraits of all 18 emperors of the Song Dynasty. The residents of the village are said to share the same family name of Zhao and to be descended from the imperial family of the Song Dynasty. So the village is also known as Huang Zuzun or Imperial Village. In 1276, the army of the northern nomadic Mongolian people occupied Hangzhou, capital of the southern Song Dynasty, and captured the young emperor. Two of the emperor's brothers, Zhao Shi and Zhao Bing, fled with their mother, the Dowager Yang, and a small escort. They headed southwards until they reached Yashan in Guangdong province. Two years later, Zhao Bing was crowned as the new emperor of the Southern Song Dynasty in exile. On March the 19th, 1279, the remnants of the Southern Song army were defeated by Mongolian forces. Faced with the imminent demise of the Southern Song Dynasty, the Prime Minister Lu Xiufu threw himself into the sea with the eight-year-old emperor Zhao Bing in his arms. Three kilometers from the Yashan Ancestral Hall, a pile of huge rocks stands beside the sea. It's said that once ships of the Song Navy were moored here. On one of the rocks, 13 characters are inscribed, which explain that this was the spot where the lives of the unfortunate child emperor and his prime minister, as well as the southern Song Dynasty itself, were ended. It is a great historical tragedy that an innocent Zhao Bing should have lived in exile from the age of five and died when he was just eight. As the last piece of territory belonging to southern Song, the rock witnessed the sad end of a once splendid imperial dynasty. The collapse of the Song dynasty and its agriculture-based society marked the first time in Chinese history that a northern nomadic power would rule the country. This, it was thought, would have an adverse impact on the Han people's development of culture, the economy, and science and technology. History records that General Zhang Hongfan of the Yuan Dynasty, when he arrived at the point on the coast where the young Song Emperor's life had ended, ordered that 12 characters be carved on a rock, commemorating his victory. It seems, however, that his original inscription was subsequently changed. Zhang Hongfan this code, is the Zheng Guo Da Jiangjun Zhang Hongfan Mie Song Yi Zi, which is 12, uh, this is 12 words. When the Ming Chao Suo, Yuan Chao Mie Wang, the Ming Chao Suo, there was someone who took these 12 words and removed them, because they thought this was a 啊,吃乳了。那麼一直到1961年,田漢,啊,在這天的我們看的就是田漢的,在現在這個時代上的刻字,啊,就是說宋少帝與丞相陸秀夫巡國一次,那這是1990後,就是後人的一種追思吧。
Such is the scale of the discovery that some experts have even suggested that the sea area of Yaman might yield relics to rival the terracotta army in importance. The poet Wen Tianxiang, a witness to the Sea Battle of Yamen, wrote, Yesterday, Song ships filled Yamen Bay. Today, only Yuan ships remain. If what he wrote was true, it is possible that over a thousand Song ships were sunk. Historians believe that, desperate to prevent their ships from falling into enemy hands, the Song soldiers would have deliberately hold their own ships and gone down with them. A unique burial site is found in the small village of Yan'an near Yashan. A low wall encircles it made of oyster shells. There's no tombstone. It is said to be the last resting place of Dowager Yan of the Southern Song Dynasty. As the story goes, Dowager Yan drowned herself in the sea after hearing of the death of her son, the Yan Emperor. Her body was quickly found and hastily buried here by her guards. Fearful of reprisals by their new Yuan rulers, the local people marked the site with a simple tomb that had no written marks. The Song Dynasty was known for high regard for morality. A woman of virtue who had remained faithful to her husband even after he died would be honored with a memorial gateway. So it is significant that Dowager Yang was honored by nothing more than a simple tomb made of oyster shells. Even so, people still come from near and far to pay homage at Dowager Yang's tomb every year on the anniversary of her birth. A few members of the Song imperial family survived, thanks to the protection they were given by the local people. They lived in secret until the end of the Yuan Dynasty, when they resumed the name Zhao and established Huangzuzun, or Imperial Village, and built ancestral halls to worship the 18 emperors of the Song Dynasty. Still today, members of the Zhao family come from all over the world to visit Imperial Village and discover their roots. <laughs> ¶¶